Hi everybody, it's Mr. Biscayfield, Hayfield Secondary School, Middle School Engineering Teacher. Uh, this uh, screen might look very familiar to you because it's right where the video left off where I showed you how to very quickly design a, uh, a uh, mousetrap car in white box that gets about 10 meters. Uh, actually, it gets about 11 point something, okay? Um, very quick and to the point. And what we did was we went down this list um, and made sure that the items um, under the in these design elements just had those settings to it. So um, it's a gimme, right? I'm giving you the answers to how you do this. Just go down this list, chassis, front and rear axle, mousetrap assembly, make sure these settings are set to that um, and you're good to go. And you will have a car that gets over 10 meters. This one actually gets 11.4, okay? But we want to design what I'm calling a, a supercar. Uh, and what a supercar is, um, is just a car. Uh, I know you know what they are, things like Lamborghinis and stuff like that, that just perform much, much, much better than your average car. So like you take a Toyota Camry, for example, that's got very good performance um, and capable of like, I don't know, 120, 130 miles an hour, um, very nice car, but a supercar is capable of like two or three times, going two or three times faster than that. So um, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our basic design and we're gonna turn it into a car that uh, the performance tour is, is you know, at least twice as good as the original. Um, and the way that is done is you have to use a lot more expensive parts um, in supercars than you do in your, your regular old Toyota Camry. And don't get me wrong, Toyota Camry is a very, very good car. But, you know, Lamborghinis use a lot of very, very expensive parts. So we have to change the parts around, but let's talk about what parts are we gonna to wanna to be changing around, okay? So this is gonna let me move. I, I gotta go back to uh, next slide, here we go. Here we go. So what parts do we wanna change? Well, let's talk about friction. And you know, the question really is, what is slowing down your car after the energy of the mousetrap is gone? You know, once that lever arm is completely moved, well, there are really only a couple of things, the main one being friction. And friction is defined simply as the force. Um, it's a resisting force. It resists the motion of two objects, two objects that are touching each other, and at least one of them is moving. So the official definition is, a force resisting the relative motion of solid surfaces also applies to gases and liquids and things like that. But it's a, it resists the relative motion. That's not what we want, right? That sounds like putting the brakes on to me. So look at the car and let's go back and let's look at our design real quick. Uh, let me close the performance window. What parts of this car <clears throat> where two things, two, remember the definition says they're, they're resisting or it implies there are at least two things sliding against each other, plural, because it says elements sliding against each other. So it's two or more things, all right? Where do we have two things that are moving and touching each other, okay? Well, I'll let you think about that for a minute, but yeah, it was on the screen. And so the main thing are the axles. The axles are going round and round. And if we view in here, zoom in here a little bit. I'm going to try to zoom in. Uh, where, which one's zoom? Oh, here we go. Zoom. Why isn't it zooming? There we go. So the axle is going through this, this wood right here. So now we did use a plastic straw for a, uh, a bearing, um, but still um, that plastic straw, the bearing's rubbing against the plastic straw, okay? So um, is that the best bearing we can use? So any place there is something moving, we want to look at and say, is there a way that we can make it move more freely with less, Friction, 
Friction's not our friend here, okay? So, um, so this is an area, the axles and bearings is an area. And then also where the wheels are touching the floor, okay? Now, we don't think about that a whole lot, but if you've ever ridden a bike, a fat tire bike, you know that those fat tires on that bike make that bike a lot harder to pedal, okay? One thing, because the tires are bigger and heavier, but the second thing is they have a lot more friction with the ground, with the road you're riding on. Same here, the friction right here uh, between <coughs> The floor and our wheels is something, is that something that we can improve on? Don't know, but those are two main areas of friction. Um, now there is aerodynamics to take into account here. Not much we can do about that. And quite honestly, aerodynamics don't really play much of a role when you're going at low speeds like our car is, okay? So let's move on. So axles, uh, and uh, you know, act, or rubbing against the wood or the bearings and then against the floor. So let's go on here and saying, okay, we're gonna go in here and kind of just like we did the last time, but you already have a 10 meter car. So we're starting with that 10 meter car and you're gonna make changes to it. I'm not gonna tell you exactly what to do. I just, I just refuse to do that. I gave you the base, I gave you the 10 meter design. That was just, you know, fill in the blank. Um, and I did ha have you save that design, remember? Um, so if you haven't saved the design, you know, you can do it now. Just click save. It's the same thing. Anyway, oh, close. So um, what things do we want to consider? Well, let's look at this a little bit. Um, let's look. Remember, we said let's consider what's going on with those the axles, the axles and the wheels, that's our main thing. So let's look at the axles and the wheels, okay? Um, now our performance, remember, we can kind of check too. We're at 11.4, so we're gonna wanna try changing things, change one thing at a time, and then check our performance, see if it got better or if it got worse. If it got worse, we undo what we just did. If it got better, we leave the change. That's why we only change one thing at a time. If we change two or th three things, we just don't know um, what really made it better or made it worse, all right? So let's look against these axles, okay? Now, if we look under axles here, all right, let's go to the front axle. We could go to the rear, but let's go to the front and look at all these choices we had. Now, you can use anything. Your prototype car was restricted to the materials it restricted to because that is what we actually have in the classroom, and that is what you're actually building, okay? But now we have these different ones we can consider, all right? I'm gonna intentionally pick steel. Hint, hint, steel is terrible. I just changed the front axle to steel. I'm gonna hit apply. Watch what happens to my overall performance. Hit apply. It went way down a lot. It went down to 7.9. All right. Do I want to keep that change? No, I don't. <laughs> I don't want steel. I want to go back to brass. Brass was a lot better. See what I mean by changing one thing at a time? Now, are some of the other materials in there, are they better than brass? I'm just going to check them one at a time, change it and click apply. Uh, this uh, Dale Wren is actually a little bit worse. So I'm not going to stick with that one. I'm going to try aluminum. It's even a little bit worse. So what was my best one to use? Well, it was brass. We're going to leave it alone. Now we talked about, can we try different bearings? Okay. Laminated tube. Try that one. I'm just going down the list. Click apply. Oh, it did make it better. It took me up to 14. All right. Let's try the next one. Let's try a brass bearing. Now, 
that has me at 12. And let's go to uh, premium bushing. That sounds good, doesn't it? Premium. Whoa, look at that. All right. That's 15.71. All right. Let's want to compare again. And was that better? 15.71. Was that better than laminated tube? I can just go back and check it really quickly. Yes, it was. So brass and brass. Whoops, sorry. I'm sorry, brass and premium. My mistake. Now my <clears throat> performance just went up quite a bit. And all I did was change the points of friction that we were talking about, okay? We talked about here, the axles and the bearings. We tried each type of axle, we tried each type of bearing. And we ended up with the result that the brass axle and the premium bushing gives us the best result, okay? Now, our goal here is to get over 20 meters. We want to more, we want to double the performance of our prototype car because we're building a supercar. It's got to be at least twice as, twice as good. What other changes do we want to make? How many axles do we have on the car? Which axle have I modified so far? More than one axle on the car. I only modified the front axle. We can also go ahead and try some of the different wheels. Now, same as the axles and bearings, we just go down the list, try uh, rear, uh, rear racers. Well, we're not going to try that because we're working on the front axle. Let's try the front racers. Does that help out or hurt? Well, actually hurt. So we're not going to stick with those. CDs are still so far the best. Change it to the next one. Click apply. Eh, not terrible, but CDs are still the best. And I'm just going down the list. You get the idea. All right. CDs are still the best. What about these <clears throat> 3D printed wheels? That's what, what 3DP stands for. Are they better, worse, or about the same? Oh, wow. Got a little bit better. But is that as good as CD? I should probably write this down. 14.73, but when we had CDs on here. Oh, no, yeah, we're at 15.7. You get the idea. Just go down the list and find the ones that work the best. So right now, CDs are still in the lead, right? So CDs still give us the best performance on our front axle. Okay, so what other changes <clears throat> do we want to make? How many axles do we have on the car? Which axle has I mo have I modified so far? All right? That's as much as I'm going to give you, okay? But I just gave you a lot. So try the different axles, try the different bearings, try the different wheels. Because as we talked about, friction is what's slowing our car down. It's keeping it from, you know, going over 20 meters. And our main sources of friction are the axles, the bearings, and the wheels. So we already have a base design, a 10 meter design that's going pretty good. Let's start upgrading components and see if it um, will get to be at least twice as good as the original prototype design, okay? So there you go. Um, good luck.